Hey, hi, and uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, so the year 2019 has been quite uh, for me and been really tiring. Okay, um, between having to learn uh, four years work within a span of uh, six months and writing exams and traveling up and down to get a placement for internship, and you know, many, many, many other crazy things. The year has been really, really hectic. You know, pretty really tiring for me. But all in all, yeah, thank God uh, it's come to an end. And um, here we are, 2020, <laughs> right? So um, in this video, we share uh, six tips. Okay, uh, on how to make uh, 20, the year 2020 more productive, more successful than you know 2019 was. These are things that I actually learned, you know, um, so a few lessons I learned uh, in the year 2019. Okay, so you know, from there building on them for the new year 2020. So the number one thing for year 2020 is to set smart goals. Okay, <laughs> yeah, not just set goals but to set smart goals okay so what do we mean by smart goals um we mean uh you know s-m-a-r-t uh we mean specific goals be specific about what you want to achieve okay um m measurable have a unit of measurement a way to measure so the success a uh, this should be attainable okay these should be um realistic goals and for r set relevant goals okay set goals that are relevant to your life to your career to uh, whatever uh, path you know you've decided to follow in life T, time, time relevant, okay? There should be a specific time frame, okay? So those are, uh, that's how basically uh, your guidelines for setting a SMART goal, okay? Then you set any any kind of goal, set a SMART goal. Now, um, something I've actually learned, something I found to be very useful in setting, you know, especially SMART goals, is the three-step, five by 25 system of uh, goal setting, you know, um, devised by uh, Warren Buffett. Okay. Um, this system is one in which step for step one, you write down um, 25 important uh, goals you like to achieve, 25 important things you like to achieve in your career, you know, like in one particular area of your life, right? Let's see your career now. So now, step two out of that 25, you note down the five most important. Okay, now for step three, you focus on only that, only those five you've picked and discard the rest of the, 20, or the, rest of the 20 uh, you know, goals. Now, it's not so um work mostly on five and work little on the remaining 20 is a matter of working only on the five and forgetting you know the no matter what happens i am not going to pay whatever sort of attention to this 20. so that's uh, you know that should help in uh, you know focusing on um you know whatever goals you set for the year 2020. tip for vision 2020 number two okay um learn unlearn and relearn okay okay so have you ever been in that situation whereby in uh, you know the kind of situation whereby um you say something you know let's say you're having an argument an intellectual argument with let's say a friend a colleague something like that and uh you've been you know you you've been saying the same thing insisting on this particular thing okay only for you to like go back and discover that what you've been arguing on your point has actually been wrong yeah um i believe in year 2020 we should be open to learn okay learn your things okay learn to be better learn um build on the knowledge you already have learn right on learn we should be open to um you know removing from our memory basically you know the things that we think we know Meanwhile, you know, they are not really correct. You know, those false uh, informations, basically, right? And we learn. While you are on learning these things, we learn new things. We learn the things that you might have forgotten, okay? So learn, unlearn, we learn in the year 2020. Okay, tip for vision 2020, number three. Um, choose consistency and commitment, okay? Or commitment and consistency. Now, uh, commitment is uh, choosing to do something okay while consistency is you sticking to do what it takes okay to achieve what you've committed to achieve okay to keep going on irrespective of how difficult things may be okay tip number four make micro shifts okay now i'm very sure um we always have these things we decide we're going to do we're going to stop doing on uh, this habit this bad habit we're going to stop this good habit we're going to build right but most of the times what happens is um, a week, two weeks, a month, two months down the line, we either forget what we've committed to or um, we've actually, you know, just stopped altogether for whatever reason. Okay, challenges are too much, uh, it's becoming more harmful to our body and, you know, stuff like that. Now, this usually happens because we try to make major shifts, okay, rather than micro shifts. Okay, it's actually best for you to make micro shifts, maybe you know, slowly integrate the healthy foods into your meal, into your diet. 
okay that way it produces the desired effect okay instead of causing harm you know in contrast to making um major or macro shifts now tip number five <laughs> one of my personal favorites shut up <laughs> okay it's 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 funny it's look you gotta have it it's it's one of the skills we really have to learn okay by the time i actually learned this lesson it was actually uh, towards the end of the year 2019 okay um somewhere around october november actually not that i love talking so much okay it's just that most times you know it's actually kind of awkward you're in a place with people and um everyone is talking and you you seem to be quiet okay people see it as tend to think okay or at least how you think people perceive you is that you know you are unintelligent you have nothing to offer and stuff like that hey if people the thing is if people actually think sort of you hey it's good but it's better than you actually opening your mouth and you know speaking jargon speaking nonsense okay what actually happened to me was um I was in the midst of some friends and they were speaking, they were talking and, you know, I really didn't get what they were saying, but, you know, just to feel along, I said something and at the end of the day, you know, I actually felt stupid for what I said and that was when I actually learned the lesson the hard way. Learned the lesson, you know, to shut up when um, you don't really have anything intelligent to offer. This falls back down to, you know, learning, relearning, and learning, right? You know, you need to be well versed in whatever area, um, <clears throat> whatever area of discussion, you know, you know, your click is in. Okay, and another thing, when people come to you for advice, you don't necessarily have to, you know, like, okay, do this, do that. If you, it's all right for you not to have the answers. Okay, you don't have to just talk, talk, and at the end of the day, you say what is irrelevant, and you know, you make a fool of yourself, right? If you have nothing to say, like I do that, someone comes to me for advice, and I don't have what to say, I just tell the person, hey, look, I, I got nothing for what you're asking for. Okay, I have nothing to help you with. Okay, so please let's let's learn to shut up when it's needed, right? Now, tip number six, one of my personal favorites. Take a break. Okay, um, in Nigeria here we have a nasty habit of um, always working. We're always hustling. Okay, we we oh, we have so much responsibility, so much work to get done, so much things to resolve, and you know a lot of challenges here and there. And the economy of the nation of the uh, nation isn't really helpful, so we are trying to make ends meet, and you know a lot of things going on, right? But at the end of the day, you discover that everyone is either burned out, uh, you have people who are burned out, people who are stressed, people who are frustrated, people who are always on edge, people who are always angry. Like for no reason, you see people sparking up and, you know, responding negatively. Hot people, hot people, right? So, um, you know, in this year, try to take a break, okay? That's fine. Once in a while, maybe once in a month, once in a week, you know, you just take a break, just... You know, a day off to just relax. Take yourself to the spa. Give yourself a good massage. Give yourself a nice treat. Get yourself an expensive gift. Okay, after all, you're working. You're the one doing all the work. So, yeah, a good reward is good every now. A, a, a good reward uh, is well worth it, right? Even as little as, you know, taking a 10 minutes nap every day, right? Like in the afternoon, it, it, it goes a long way to, you know, boost your creativity, boost your um, inputs. Uh, right. A seventh one, right? build your thought or mind your thoughts okay um there is this saying what you expose your mind to become your thoughts your thoughts become your words your words become your actions your actions become your habits your habits become your character and your character shape your life or destiny okay so mind the things you expose yourself to this year okay mind the things you think about mind the things you ruminate over okay and you discover that um, um you know things are going on uh, a little better for you, right? Okay, thank you very much for watching Watch until the very end. Um, be sure to leave a like, comment. If you have any extra tips, feel free to share them in the comment section below. Okay, um, yeah. Share, like, subscribe. I think that's it. <laughs> Cheers. was actually a successful year i know i record a, a lot of accomplishments okay but yeah yeah we, we, i believe we can do better yes we, we, we can do better in the year 2020 so uh, thank you very much for watching to the very end um till the next video god bless